Hi everyone, welcome again to the Redis and Laravel series. In this video, we're explaining the database schema for a simple e commerce app that we build using Laravel and Redis. So, um, to give you a better understanding of how Redis will play a role in storing our data, um, below is a sketch of our DB schema. I know you're thinking, oh, yeah, it's Redis. Um, how does DB schema come in, right? Um, Schema is simply just refers to the organization of data or the, like the blueprint of our database. So I want us to like discuss the blueprint of how our database is going to be. So to help us in building, um, or help us understand um, what we are building, what when we start coding. So um, the first um, data type that we are going to have is um, the product ID. Right, we'll be having a list of product on um, our e-commerce platform, right? So um, we want to have a way to, unlike um, MySQL that has um, auto increments, Redis doesn't have anything like that. So we are left to be incrementing our ID itself when we're representing our data. So um, for the product ID, we represent our product ID and the first initial one will be zero. So um, every time we had a new product, we'll be incrementing it. So it's been incrementing and we, have a, we had a new product. The second one is a product itself. Right, um, obviously, we are going to be represent, representing a product with, um, with, with ash, ash map, right? So, um, the product will have its ID that we get from product ID, and then, um, image of the product, the name of the product. In your case, if you want to add more, you can add the price, right? Um, whatever it is, um, SKU, whatever it is like that, uh, the, the attributes of the product, you can, like, add it um for ashes right you know you can always update um the ash you can always um add more fields to it next one is um the products like list of all our products now list of our products will be ordered sets and the reason why it's in order sets is because while listing our products we want to be listing them in the order they were like from the most recent added to the like um to the hold and other sets will like play a good role in that because the score will be the time the time the time that it was added and then the value will be the id of the products like remember the id here id that was generated here is being set as part of the hash and then that will be the value of the score which is like the time the product was added so while we are listing all the products we can also look through the products and then fetch details from um, from the hash map so very straightforward and then we we'll have tags right so while creating the products um the products can have different tags. So, for instance, say gene, main gene, we we'll have a tag of men, we we'll have a tag of gene, we we'll have, we'll have a tag of pants. So, um, this old best best way to represent that is um sets. Remember, we said something about tags too. Sets web sets is a very good representation for our tags, right? So, um, so um, for every product that has been added. If um, we had a new product and then we have a tag men, it doesn't have to like um, repeat the tags. It doesn't really have to repeat the tags. It's just, since it's unique, it's just have a tag there. And then um, next one we are going to be creating is um, product ID and tags. So for this particular one, for this particular key, we are going to be storing the tags for a particular product. So it's going to be product and the ID of the of the products then tags product column id column tags with products column one column tags or products column temp column tags whatever it is like that we are going to have it that way so um we are go it's going to be a set to because we want them to be unique right um products gene cannot have a tag men men so it's going to be unique and um lastly we are going to have tags id so for every tag that is being created for every tag has been created we are going to be storing the products of the tags so um if we have five products that has tag men we are going to have men colon or tags colon men and then all the id of the products for all the idea of all the id of the products that carries the tag men will be listed here so this will be very like um, very useful for us when we are trying to filter by tags when you click on the tag you just need to go and fetch the tags and um, you just go and fetch that particular tags and it's going to return all the product ID and then we can look through and um, represent the product. So um, um, 
move on to the next video where we will start the actual coding and um, please um, if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly go ahead to subscribe to my channel to receive um, notification for the next, for the next video um, see you in the next video thanks